15 Dr. Seuss Illustrations That Are Shockingly Offensive Part 1 If you are brand new to our channel, we invite you to take a moment to subscribe. Just click on the lit red button as well as the gray bell. Why the bell? Well, it will let you know every time we post a new video. 1. Firewood when the original of this drawing went up for auction in 2015, it was covered by the Huffington Post website. At the very top of the page, just below the headline and social media prompts, there were some purposely chosen words, in order to cover the companies but against those who were about to be put off. Warning, the image included in this post may be offensive or upsetting to readers. Gee, you think, an illustration that dates back to 1929, it was titled Cross Section of the World's Most Prosperous Department Store, which speaks to the fact, that the artist seemed to think this was unlikely to upset. While his later work and comments made it seem as though he felt at least embarrassed, if not ashamed of his involvement in content like this, it is hard to look at this image, and see him the same way. Starting out seeming like an out there but harmless store, the final panel features a disgusting reveal that people of African descent are on sale, to be used for firewood. If there is any question, as to the fact, that these are supposed to be actual human beings the sign on the wall, identifies them by using the n-word. All of this was supposed to be funny too, which is absolute. 2. 13. The Bedroom Companion one of the forgotten books that Dr. Seuss contributed to has to be The Bedroom Companion, which was a humor book aimed at adults. Far from the type of thing that we usually associate the man with, we're guessing the keepers of his estate wish they could eradicate it from all existence. Featuring an elephant character that instantly brings to mind the story of Horton Hears at Who, this time around the animal, is seen gawking at a nude woman in the clutches of a man. Still, as different as that particular imagery is, it wasn't enough to make our list. Instead, we chose this piece, where a boy who is identified as being only 13 years old in the dialogue, is stranded on a desert island with a fully adult woman, Miss Quackenbush. Written to be offering up his apologies to the much older woman, it is heavily implied that the young man feels guilty as he can't satisfy her sexually. While you may think we are reading into the image too much, let us explain why that thought would be off base. The entire book is filled with nothing else, but images that are chocked full of sexual innuendo. In order for this drawing to be taken any other way, we'd have to presume that suddenly in the middle of a sexually focused book, he included something that totally broke the theme for no apparent reason. We'd love to give him the benefit of the three TNT line. An illustration that brings into sharp view the type of work that Dr. Seuss did at one time in his career. It takes a humongous group of people that his country was at war with and portrays them all the same. Focused on the Japanese, when America was at war with them, its title alone, waiting for the signal from home, speaks very loudly as to the point he was attempting to make at the time showing racist versions of people who'd immigrated to America from Japan, he shows them all receiving explosive materials, in order to take the United States down when the time is right. 4. Slap a what? While there is no question, that the era in which these drawings were released, would likely be more welcoming of them than modern times, there is a misconception, that people were okay with this crap. During America's conflict with the Third Reich Japan especially found their people under racist attacks in the illustrations of Dr. Seuss. When his work received complaints, because of the awful nature of it, Theodore did not bat an eye, and on at least one occasion defended them. Right now, when the Japs are planting their hatchets in our skulls, it seems like a hell of a time for us to smile and warble, brothers. It is a rather flabby battle cry. If we want to win, we've got to kill Japs, we can get palsy-walsy afterward with those that are left. 
a drawing that was meant to convince people to buy war bonds, so the money could go to the war effort. The good doctor opted to compare the Japanese people to insects, writing that bugs waters were needed to fight them. The accompanying drawing featured a racist caricature of the Japanese people. The devil was in the details too, so he even came up with a loathsome catchphrase to embolden his point in the minds of those who looked upon this dreck. 5. Racist Jungle Cooking The last drawing that was meant to sell a product to people on this list, it shows that flit bug spray and their artist of choice were happy to unfairly skewer multiple races in the search for sales. Featuring a drawing of a dark-skinned king and his chef about to enjoy a meal, it takes a turn when it is revealed that a large bug is coming right for his highness. That is until the contents of the pot, which turns out to include a white-skinned man, come forward and kill the bug with the spray. Portraying other races as savages, this is yet another example of the depths he fell to at the time. 6. Call to Arms a drawing that was designed to get the American people involved in supporting the war efforts against both Japan and Germany. It amazes us that Hitler seems to almost be getting off easy here. Perhaps, that speaks to Dr. Seuss's inclination at the time to portray white-skinned figures with more respect considering Adolf looks a lot like the actual man only with his features exaggerated. On the other hand, the Japanese man is the very image of a racist caricature and seems to be more focused on the people instead of any one leader. There is an implication here that anyone who looks like they may be Japanese is the enemy of the country, and if that doesn't offend you to your bones then we don't know what would. 7. Mutant. What the hell was wrong with Dr. Seuss back then? Someone who clearly held the Japanese people in great contempt during the Second World War, something a lot of people may have echoed at the time, the way he took his gripe out on every countryman was disgusting. Showing a mutated person, he has a Nazi pendant around his neck, and is dressed to the nines, even going so far as to wear a top hat, this seems to be a play on their attempts to look appealing. Of course, there is then the fact that his lower half seems to be some kind of monster or freak, and the words speak to the Japanese concept that Americans are barbarians. An appeal to his people to not trust anyone who looks like the enemy, his use of an insult to their society, was clearly an attempt to use their patriotism and turn it into blind hatred. 8. Four Song Human Another piece taken from Dr. Seuss's book The Seven Lady Godivas, this time around he has his crosshairs directly targeted on people who are overweight. One half of an image that shows the sisters riding their horses, there is an obvious exception when it comes to the sister Teeny. Obviously named in an attempt to be ironic, that lack of subtlety is put to shame by his choice to buck the trend and instead of showing her on the back of her steed, it is her that is bearing the animal's weight. Attempting to make a joke out of the horse's inability to have a larger woman sit on its back, it is a cheap shot and would inspire a lot of angry letters these days. <laughs>